Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another St. Louis American Sports Break. I'm so glad to be with you again, and we're coming with you from my family home here. And before we get started with sports action, of course, I want to remind everybody, we're, of course, we're all going through a very tough time here as we battle this coronavirus together. And let's uh, follow all the guidelines. Let's uh, stay at home. Let's wash your hands thoroughly. And please take care of yourself and stay safe because I want to see everybody at these high school events when we resume for the 2020-21 season. Now let's start with our sports break. Let's go to the St. Louis American Boys Fab Five basketball team. And of course, these are five tremendous basketball players who were uh, great during the 19, excuse me, during the 2019-2020 season. Our first player is Caleb Love, 6'4 guard out of CBC. Of course, he is a McDonald's All-American, headed to North Carolina, averaged 27 points a game, led CBC to a Final Four in the Class 5 state tournament. Next is Cameron Fletcher, the 6'7 forward, senior out of Vashon High School, headed to University of Kentucky, averaged 20 points a game, and leading Vashon to a Final Four berth in Class 4. The next player is his teammate at Vashon, Philip Russell, a six-foot guard, averaged 15 points a game, one of the top shooters in the St. Louis metropolitan area, had a tremendous senior season. Next on the Metro East is Rayshon Taylor, an outstanding senior guard out of Collinsville High School. He will lead the program as the Collinsville's all-time leading scorer, more than 2,000 points, averaged 23 points a game, led Collinsville to a 31-2 and two season at Southwestern Conference Championship. And our fifth member, our lone underclassman, he's 6'3", junior Mario Fleming out of Cardinal Ritter College Prep. Mario averaged 19 points a game and leading Cardinal Ritter to the Class 3 state championship. So congratulations to our five first team members of the Fab Five. Now it's time for our Austin Achievement Awards for Boys Basketball in 2020. Of course, our Player of the Year is none other than Caleb Love of CBC. Coach of the Year, Ryan Johnson, who directed Cardinal Ritter to the Class 3 state championship. Our freshman of the year, Michaela Rich, a uh, big muscular 6'5 freshman forward from East St. Louis Senior High School, averaged 10 points a game. Our sophomore of the year, Terrace Reed Jr., a 6'8 power forward from Chaminade, led the Red Devils to a Final Four berth in Class 5. Our junior of the year, of course, Mario Fleming of Cardinal Ritter. And once again, our senior of the year, Caleb Love out of CBC. So congratulations to all the boys, Fab Five members. That, of course, ran in the St. Louis American paper this week. Next week, we'll have the girls Fab Five and the Austin, Austin Achievement Awards for girls basketball. Now, you know what's time's next. It's time for those St. Louis American shout outs. And we're, it's going to be a very special shout out. So these are to a group of athletes who will not get to uh, compete this year due to the coronavirus. Uh, all the Missouri State High School Activities Association has shut down all spring sports and spring championships. We're going to recognize these great spring athletes, mainly in the sport of track and field, which is one of my favorite sports as well. And of course, the first one is Justin Robinson, the star out of Hazelwood West High School. Not only did he lead Hazelwood West to its first state championship last year in track and field, he went on the national and international stage and really did a great job in the 400 meter dash. He's also a possibility for an Olympic uh, a bid as well. So we'll see in 2021, just 17 years old, headed to Arizona State University. A uh, young lady out of uh, Narex Hall, Courtney Williams. Uh, she was a state champion in the 400 meter dash. She was signed with Clemson. A young man named Brandon Miller it's out of John Burrow School. He's headed to Texas A&M. He is a national level 800 meter runner. He holds the state record in the 800 meter run and a young lady out of Parkway North High School, Alicia, they call her Lisi Barnett. She's uh, led Parkway North to the state championship last year in class four, winning 100 and 200 meter dashes. And also on the Illinois side, Willie Johnson out of East St. Louis, the star 400 meter runner led East St. Louis to the state championship last year. And of course, East St. Louis boys and girls went back to back state champions in class two state of uh, Illinois. Of course, some other great athletes were like the uh, honor the Trinity boys and girls. Of course, Trinity went uh, won the class three boys and girls state championship last year. Trinity had some great field uh, position players, Alika Hefner uh, and uh, Brooke Moore in the triple jump and uh, Sydney Jarzak 
in the javelin throw. Uh, Scout regularly, a young lady out of Incarnate Word, was a state champion in the hurdles. And Eliza Maupin, who was an outstanding freshman out of Webster Grove, was a state champion in the high jump and a school record holder in the long jump. She could do it all as well as volleyball and basketball, a great three-sport athlete. The only one more person is Kylie Goldfarb out of John Burroughs, a two-time state champion last year in the 800 and 1600 meter dash. So a very special St. Louis American shout out to those great track and field athletes. Very heartbroken that them and the rest of the spring sports athletes will not get to compete this season. And finally, we'd like to mention Tyler Macon, one of the top football players returning in the St. Louis metropolitan area. Quarterback at East St. Louis gave a commitment to the University of Missouri. That's a big, uh, get for Eli Drinkwitz and his uh, first year of its program. Tyler Macon led East St. Louis to a state championship in class six. He had uh, over 5,000 yards of total offense, 56 combined touchdowns, rushing and passing, one of the top players in the state of Illinois and one of the best quarterbacks in the country. So Tyler Macon gives a commitment to the University of Missouri. So of course, that's gonna end another St. Louis American sports break. It feels so good to be back with you. As I said, everybody stay safe, stay indoors, stay at home. And we look forward to seeing everybody once again at the high school events. We pray that we'll be back at the high school events again this fall. We'll see you soon.